Welcome aboard Alvinsa Studio, your portal to visionary architecture and sustainable living. Today, we set sail into the realm of innovation with floating shipping container home, Urban Rigor. Join us as we embark on a captivating journey exploring the intersection of urban living and eco-conscious design. Get ready to be immersed in the world of floating homes where repurposed shipping containers redefine waterfront living. From cutting-edge designs to eco-friendly solutions, we're here to inspire and ignite your imagination. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare for an unforgettable voyage with Alvinsa Studio. Let's dive into the extraordinary world of floating shipping container home, Urban Rigger. Urban Rigger is a unique design-protected, patented, floating, flexible, CO2-neutral and mobile property totaling 680 square meters which is spread over 300 square meters of housing, nine plus three individual student residents A respectively, 23 square meters, 27 square meters, a 160 square meters common green courtyard, kayak landing, bathing platform, BBQ area, as well as 65 square meters communal roof terrace. Downstairs below sea level, the 230 square meters pontoon basement, comprising 12 storage rooms, technical room, and common fully automated laundry. This hexagonal floating student housing complex made of stacked reclaimed shipping containers is better than any dorm you could hope to live in. Urban Rigor by Bjarka Ingels, BIG, creates a sustainable solution to the pressing need for additional accommodations for students in the city, providing 15 living spaces arranged around an internal courtyard. Completely carbon neutral, the structures are solar powered and make use of hydro source heating and low energy pumps and the first unit opened to the public on September 21st. Each apartment is available to college students at $600 per month and includes a private bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen. Occupants get access to the courtyard as well as a kayak landing, bathing platform, barbecue area, and roof terrace. The pontoon basement features storage zones and fully automated laundry. It's a pretty sweet deal for students who get to gaze out of giant windows at the sunset every evening and enjoy a water-centric lifestyle that most adults only dream about. Making use of the harbor ensures that students get to live close to the school instead of far outside the city, where most affordable units are located. Eventually, big plans to create entire communities made up of multiple structures. There are few strategies that allow cities to expand, the architects explain, yet, Copenhagen's Harbor remains an underutilized and underdeveloped area at the heart of the city. By introducing a building typology optimized for harbor cities, they can introduce a housing solution that will keep students at the heart of the city. Meanwhile, the standardized container system has been developed to allow goods to be transported by road, water, or air to anywhere in the world in a complex network of operators at a very low cost. By making use of the standard container system, they are offered the framework of extremely flexible building typology. By stacking nine container units in a circle, they can create 15 studio residences which frame a centralized winter garden. This is used as a common meeting place for students. The housing is also buoyant, like a boat, so that can be replicated in other harbor cities where affordable housing is needed, but space is limited. Shipping container is probably the most optimized infrastructure on the planet. The container system is a uniform system that is used in every continent. Shipping containers are accessible everywhere. The problem arises when shipping container reaches the end of its life cycle. Depending on global steel prices, shipping containers are either abandoned or melted down. If shipping container is melted down, it will have consumed 8.5 megawatt in its life cycle. So instead of recycling, they are banking on upcycling, in other words, continuing the container's life cycle in a different way. It costs as little as 450 kilowatts and it does away with the approximately 1,100 tons of CO2 required to build a new traditional home. By revitalizing these old structures, we help to maintain a low environmental impact of urban riggers. They wanna do our best to preserve our natural capital. The material life cycle perspective is considered in all our constructions, inside as well as outside. Healthy materials are chosen to create a good indoor climate. Their partners and their technologies are playing a key role in generating heating and cooling while ensuring internal climate comfort and keeping energy use to a minimum. Instead of using traditional bulky insulation materials, we are using Aerogel, which was developed for space travel and a reflective insulation. 
It is a form of insulation consisting of thin aluminum foil made from recycled aluminum derived from beer and soda cans, for example. The Urban Rigger Floating Shipping Container Home Project is primarily developed as student residents. Young people who want to make something of themselves, who have clear ideas about the planet and the future, who want to live close to their friends and their place of education. Big has made every student's dream come true. To live in the midst of a vibrant city like Copenhagen, yet still fall asleep to the peaceful sound of the waves beside the door. And all this in modern studios made of stacked shipping containers that form huge lavable rafts and offer living space on several levels. In search of new ways to create affordable and attractive housing for the growing number of students, Big decided to redevelop the Copenhagen port. Danish architects opted for a floating type of construction that any port city can use to generate centrally located construction sites and extend the city out to sea. The building consists of a total of nine containers, the same containers that leave the port daily and transport goods to the rest of the world for the construction of the urban rigor. The architects took advantage of the standardized container system which offers a cheap, robust structure with flexible use of space. The nine shipping containers can accommodate 12 studios as well as common areas such as the courtyard and the roof terrace. This arrangement creates a mini district on each pontoon. The floating pontoons can be bundled in the harbor into hexagonal groups to create visual and spatial links with other communities. These buildings result from the special stacking of containers. The first level consists of three shipping containers arranged in the form of a triangle forming a common courtyard. The corners of the triangle are then separated to create optical connections to the exterior and at the same time a hexagonal courtyard. Another six containers form the second floor and connect the base structure as each two adjacent containers close the gap below. The structure is held together by a staircase and corridors to the upper living spaces. The courtyard is also protected from wind and weather by glass, providing a pleasant entrance area where you can interact with your neighbors. The three roof areas have three different functions. To create a more sustainable accommodation, a roof is equipped with solar panels. The second roof is green, while the third offers its inhabitants a panoramic view over the water. Even from the studios, you can enjoy a clear view. Floor-to-ceiling windows let in plenty of natural light and create a closeness to the water. The interiors are decorated in white and only sparingly furnished. Walls and floors are made of wood. This creates a warm atmosphere in the seemingly unimpressive rooms at first sight. The heat transfer rate from water is higher than using the ground as a heat source. The water is in close contact with the entire pipe at all times enhancing its efficiency. The flow circulation of water provides constant energy replacement. The return temperature to the heat pump is generally 5-6 degrees C higher than ground collectors, increasing the efficiency of the Danfoss heat pump in the urban rigor. A cold water anti-freeze mix is pumped through a series of energy-absorbing non-corrosive hydropex pipes in the base slab of the hall on urban rigor. As heat naturally flows from warmer to cooler places, the anti-freeze mix circulating around the array is constantly warmed by the sea's low-grade heat. During summer months, harbor water hovers around 18, 21 degrees Celsius, and the urban rigor floating shipping container home sends heated water through 800 meters of hydropex pipes to the apartments, where the off-grid connected 5 kWh capacity Dan Foss heat pump boosts temperatures to between 40. 55 degrees Celsius for heating and warm water through the system for floor heating and utility water. In winter months, when seawater temperatures dip as low as 2 degrees Celsius, the heat exchanger boosts water temperatures up to 70 degrees Celsius, which is the perfect level water temperature each apartment requires for comfort and enjoyable living in the winter months. An efficient, economical, and above all, an environmental responsible and sustainable solution. The Danfoss 5 kW heat pump combined with a 7 5 kWh Hanwha Q-Cells PV panel solution on the urban rigor roof. Charging the dual 3 5 kW lit-ion battery banks creates the sustainable and cost-effective heating source needed, generating a whopping 17 5 kWh kWh of heat from just 1 kWh of electricity, reducing the coefficient of performance for the heat pump while reducing emissions by 81% compared to conventional heating using natural gas, grid or oil as a power source. 
Big is a Copenhagen, New York, London, and Barcelona-based group of architects, designers, urbanists, landscape professionals, interior and product designers, researchers, and inventors. The office is currently involved in a large number of projects throughout Europe, North America, Asia, and the Middle East. Big's architecture emerges out of a careful analysis of how contemporary life constantly evolves and changes, not least due to the influence from multicultural exchange global economical flows and communication technologies that all together require new ways of architectural and urban organization. We believe that in order to deal with today's challenges, architecture can profitably move into a field that has been largely unexplored, a pragmatic utopian architecture that steers clear of the petrifying pragmatism of boring boxes and the naive utopian ideas of digital formalism. Like a form of programmatic alchemy, we create architecture by mixing conventional ingredients such as living, leisure, working, parking, and shopping. By hitting the fertile overlap between pragmatic and utopia, we architects once again find the freedom to change the surface of our planet to better fit contemporary life forms. As we dock our journey exploring the captivating realm of floating shipping container home, urban rigor, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for joining Alvinsa Studio on this extraordinary adventure. We hope you've been inspired by the innovative designs and sustainable solutions showcased in this unique waterfront living concept. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected with us for more exciting content on visionary architecture and eco-conscious living. Until our next voyage, keep dreaming, designing, and embracing sustainable lifestyles. This is Alvinsa Studio bidding farewell from the shores of creativity. See you in the next chapter.